9937, a very special guest in the studio for a Friday afternoon. Uh, she is the winner of The Voice, Carice Eden. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you? Thanks so much for coming in. Yes, sir. Let's get straight to it. What was it like, uh, 10 weeks of craziness going on the one of the most watched shows, uh, I think, ever, really, in front of millions of people every night? Um, it was stressful, admittedly, um, trying to get all the, all the words down pat to the songs and stuff, but... Um, well, the hardest thing was is when you knew a song and then you had to do the TV short little cut of a song, that would stress you out because you'd automatically go to sing the second verse. That's not supposed to be there. Like, but um, stressful, but also it was amazing. And, yeah, it's a good good experience. And you got to have Seal as a coach. And yeah. he, he got this sort of so much hype around him. He became this cult figure in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I call him Mufasa. He's Mufasa. Like, <laughs> he's like, and he's like Simba. And I'm just like, he just comes out of nowhere with the wise words. But he's a beautiful man and... Um, yeah, he's very emotional, isn't he? He's very passionate and, um, yeah. well, you know, loved loved um, being on that show, actually, you know. Yeah, he did. First of all, uh, congratulations on winning, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, which is an amazing feat, but uh, you fast-tracked all of a sudden in, in front of uh, more than 50,000 people at State of Origin the other night. That yeah. was like your first big, big gig. What was yeah. that like? Oh, that was amazing. I came off stage just buzzing. Like, it was so good. Um, it was good to have the, the band members there. The boys are great and um, all that sort of stuff, and then... It was just awesome. I think what probably made me not as nervous was knowing that they were there for the origin, not just to see me. So that yeah. probably made me feel a whole lot better. Oh, that made you feel good because <laughs> yeah. I would have been worried because, you know, obviously there are going to be heaps of Carice Eden fans out there, but then there's <laughs> going to be a couple of uh, guys with like a few him. teeth missing yeah. uh, wearing a Queensland jumper, but that w it was a good relaxing gig. Yeah, it was. And as I, I remember walking out and onto the field, onto the stage, and there's these guys in their blue and they're stood up and they're going, Go Carice! Go the Central Coast! <laughs> 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 and then yeah, so it was pretty cool. I loved it. Uh, tell us a bit about "You Won't Let Me." You won't let me. Um, it is a song that um, yeah, it was the winner's song that I was asked to sing. Um, I didn't actually write it, but um, it is a very beautiful song. I love singing it, and um, it's a very relatable song, isn't it? You know. And you're happy with how the way it all turned out? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Um, this the you know, when we did the recordings and all that sort of stuff. It, you know, it really came along nicely together, so it was good. What would be your dream gig? My dream gig. Just anywhere as long as I was singing with John from Bon Jovi. Really? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to open for him his next Australian tour? <laughs> yeah, now that would be awesome. All uh, right, we've got a few uh, listeners' questions. We've asked people to write stuff on Facebook. Uh, a yeah. lot of the big ones have been, um, really, how did you get this amazing voice? Did you train <laughs> a lot as a kid, or did it just sort of you woke up one day and started singing? Uh, well, my I grew up with my mum and my sister, and they were very musical growing up. I'd zone out and play the Nintendo, personally, <laughs> but then I hit about 13, and I, and I just started singing, and that's just what came out, I guess. Um, over the years, my voice has gotten thicker and deep, deeper and rich and up in tone. Um, but yeah, my mum always said to me, you're never on the planet, but you're always listening, because I was just like a crazy little out there kid, never really listening to music, then I'd just come out singing. It was just literally that it was just like all right i turned 13 hormones kicked in let's sing you know <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I guess the next thing has been, uh, there's been a few mums that have been writing on the Facebook as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, wondering, you know, they've got a young daughter, any advice for them growing up? If you had an hour and a half, yeah, but not if I couldn't think of a five second answer. <laughs> sign up for The Voice Season 2, perhaps? Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, let's sign up for The Voice Season 2 if you've got any singers. There you go, mums, write that down uh, for your daughter. <laughs> Just start training early. They're saying 13, I reckon, get them in there earlier. Six. Five. Start training them. Yeah, five. Five? Five. That's when yeah, you let's, started. Let's start at five. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Mate, uh, it's good. been so much fun having you in the studio here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks and uh, Enjoy Perth. Yeah, thanks. I will. We'll do. No,